Hi you guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. So in today's video, I decided to switch things up just a little bit. Sometimes, you know, it's important for us to take a walk back down memory lane. And so that's exactly what I wanna do today. I wanna take a walk down memory lane and share with you guys my best and worst Christmas trees of all times. Now, if you have not heard my backstory on, you know, me just getting back into like celebrating Christmas and the whole deal, um, definitely check out How the Grinch Stole My Christmas. I will link it right here. If you are not in the mood to be sad or anything like that, I don't recommend that video right now, but if you would like a little backstory on how I stopped celebrating Christmas and how my husband got me back into celebrating Christmas, you definitely want to check out that video. So yeah, so we're going to get started with my first tree. And so this tree was definitely a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Um, my husband bought the tree from like Walgreens or something like that. It was like a week or so before Christmas and I didn't have much time to put it together. But it came together quite nicely for it being my first time decorating a tree. Um, but I will always remember this. It will always be super special to me and probably one of my best trees ever because it really broke off a spirit of depression and oppression off of my life because of something that I dealt with in my past. So this tree will always be very special and very sentimental to me. The next tree that I'm going to share with you guys was like my grade up the next year. I got this tree in pink and green and someone made me this green bow topper. And at that particular time, I didn't know how to actually affix a bow on top of a tree. So I just literally plopped it right there and I was so proud of this tree. I thought it was everything. And now when I look back at the pictures, like I literally cringe like I cringe because the tree was so awful, but hey, you gotta start right somewhere, right? So I think that's one of the important things, you know, as a creator, um, that, you know, as a creator or designer or decorator, I think it's so important for us to share our process and share our evolution because you guys have all been a part of this journey, you know? And so to erase the evolution, to erase the process, to me, would just be, I don't know, counterproductive. I really enjoy watching, you know, just the, the progress and the evolution over time. And I think it's also very encouraging because it says to you guys that no matter where you are, like we all had to start somewhere. Like I love to go back and look at beauty um, gurus, how they first started doing their makeup versus how their makeup looks now. And you know, for me being a designer, I like to go back and look at how I first started doing my Christmas trees versus what they look like now. So moving forward to this next Christmas tree, you guys, I'm telling you, I was in there like swimwear, honey. I thought I had it going on. And when I did this Christmas tree, I actually met with a celebrity Christmas tree designer. I had this big, huge bow, probably about this big, sitting on top of the tree. It was humongous, okay? And I thought, oh, this tree was everything. And so I had the opportunity to interview this celebrity Christmas tree designer that I really admired. Um, she lived in Louisiana and did a lot of like NFL players and things like that. And I was like, okay, what's your favorite, like what's your least favorite thing for someone to include in a Christmas tree? And she looked at me and she said, fake poinsettias. Y'all, that broke my heart. <laughs> because this tree was filled with hot pink poinsettias. So I definitely, I mean, my feelings were really hurt. Um, and I definitely wanted to improve on my ability to decorate a Christmas tree. So, I mean, I went back at it. So my next Christmas tree, um, it was some beautiful memories that came from that tree. Uh, my husband and I got engaged like during Thanksgiving of that year. And so we took engagement pictures um, after our engagement under that tree. And I just thought it was really beautiful. But I, now that I look back on it, it's kind of cringe worries worthy, but the memories are still beautiful nonetheless. Um, so the next tree is our first tree as a married couple. I actually enlisted the help of a 
um, professional interior designer. She actually designed the entire tree, picked out the ornaments and everything. And then the very next year, I was able to duplicate that tree on my own. And I did enjoy that very much. Um, and then I decided that I really didn't like the green and red when the rest of my house was very colorful. And those colorful ornaments, uh, the colors in the color palette of our home didn't match the red and green ornaments and I really was drawn to more of you know allowing the ornaments to actually match the decor so what I did was I started finding ornaments after season because ornaments can be so expensive so I started shopping after season which is one of my principles for living luxuriously for less and I was able to find ornaments from everywhere to match the theme of our home we had the corals and the greens and the turquoises and so um, once I was able to find all of those ornaments I was able to create this tree that matched our home I was so in love with it I thought it was the best tree ever um, at that time but you know as we grow and change you know so do our likes and dislikes and so does our taste so through me decorating for Keelan Walker studio I was able to do these amazing trees for his studios and by the way they didn't start out so amazing so I'm going to show you guys all of that it did not start out <laughs> amazing at all and so um his over the years you could kind of see the progress that in my in my decorating style and in my decorating taste and I was so super proud of the work that we were able to accomplish together so let's fast forward to this year I think this year probably has to be one of my most favorite Christmas trees ever um, not just because of the color change but I think that uh, it just brought so much joy into our hearts and into our home. Uh, my husband actually picked a theme. He wanted a winter wonderland. And I had gone with like more of a champagne gold and, um, you know, like maybe a champagne gold and it was like a glitter tree. But then I added like these little picks in here because he wanted a winter wonderland. And we had gotten this tree from Home Depot like six seven hundred dollars i wasn't gonna go buy another tree so we just added the little picks in the tree to give it that winter wonderland feel and um we made sure that they were you know the flocked uh picks and i added them just kind of sporadically through the tree and it definitely worked it gave us that winter wonderland feel i absolutely love it and it's probably my most favorite tree to date my most sentimental tree i would have to say is this blue and silver tree um i created this tree for my mom several years ago probably back in around 2010 or so and when i ran across these pictures while i was looking for trees it just really touched my heart because my mom had had a really tough year that year and i really wanted to do something to bring joy back into her life so I decorated her tree and mantle using blue and silver she absolutely loved blue Christmas decor and it just really brought so much joy back into her heart and I know that I don't know like when I think about back on that day and how much joy I was able to bring to her through decorating, which is one of the major reasons I love decorating, where it, whether it's Christmas trees or houses or events or backdrops or centerpieces or whatever. But one of my major reasons for decorating is the joy that it brings to others. So I think that is, you know, even when we look at our best and worst moments in decorating Christmas trees or in life in general, I think that when we really sit down and just kind of look at them for what they are that there is something beautiful that we can take from each moment there's a lesson learned in each moment and nothing is ever wasted so i hope you guys enjoyed this and enjoyed taking a walk down memory lane as i share with you my best and worst christmas trees of all times and just remember to Enjoy the journey because in the end, if you stick to it, it will lead you to somewhere that you were always supposed to be. I love you. God bless you. Happy holidays.
Sanders O'Leary got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I wanna be. I'll be home for a couple of days, wander around with you. You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. Oh, I have stopped running. There is no way trying. You better loosen your belts. Drinking hot wine by the fire. Don't care of anything else. It's Christmas and some kind of love, my friend. I pray it will never end. Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas and outside snow's glistening. It's just you and me tonight. I'll spend all this Christmas with you. Oh, it's such a charm. Got you up in my arm. There's nobody at the door. You said I wish this will never be over. Darling, it's time for your present. Come over here. Now it is time to get out in the snow, lighting a light with you. Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring. Nobody loves you as much as I do. It's a wonderful feeling from floor to the ceiling. It is that time of the year. Drinking hot wine by the fire. Here on our own, we got nothing to fear. It's Christmas and some kind of love, my friend. Pick up some candy canes and hang a wreath on your door. It's Christmas and outside snow's glistening. It's just you and me tonight. It's just you and me tonight. It's just you and me tonight. I'll spend all this Christmas with you.